In this video, we're going to introduce you to the plugin Widget Context and show you how you can use it to dynamically load widgets throughout your website. So we're starting off on a WordPress website here, as you can see, and in the left-hand sidebar beneath the menu, I have a number of widgets. I've got the search widget, recent posts, recent comments, and so on. But on this website, for instance, let's say that I don't want these widgets to show everywhere. I don't want them universal. Uh, as is the default behavior in WordPress. So I've gone and installed a plugin called Widget Context. So if you haven't done that already, I suggest you pause the video and do that now uh, and then rejoin. And once it's installed, uh, very fortunately, there's no settings or anything that you need to configure. It's just ready to go out of the box. Uh, so what you need to do is head to appearance and then into widgets. And the widget interface looks mostly the same as it does and has always looked really. Uh, but what you'll actually find if you click on one of the little down arrows to show the options below the widget, where you'll normally have the title, for instance, in the search widget, which is just standard, beneath that you'll have the widget context options. So what we can now do is sort of think about where we do and don't want this widget to be displayed. So you've got some options you can choose from. So you can choose to show everywhere, show on selected, hide on selected or hide everywhere. So if you wanna just hide a widget, you don't want it to be shown anywhere, uh, maybe you're doing some testing, this is a fantastic option. But what I'm going to do is use the hide on selected option for the moment, and I'm going to hide it from the front page and all archives pages. There are some other uh, settings you can choose from down here. So it has less than or more than a number of words on a target URL as well as what you can choose to hide it on. Uh, you can also add some notes to this as well if you choose to do that, maybe to keep track of why you've chosen to hide or show the widget on a certain page. Anyway, whenever you're happy with the settings, all you need to do is click save, of course, and then head back to your website and see that those changes have come through. So we're on the home page now and we can no longer see that search widget in the left hand side. So I'm just going to click onto a post now and we should definitely see it in the left hand sidebar. There we go. So there's the search box in the left hand sidebar. We also said that we don't want it to show on any category or tag archive pages. So I'm just going to go to the news category. And as you can see, there is no search box in the left hand sidebar. So that's the end of the video on widget context. It's a pretty cool plugin in terms of what you can do with it. I suggest trying it out. You know, there's a lot of use cases for it. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.